and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Welcome to night number seven out of my 13 nights of fright. Tonight we're gonna be talking about yet another Universal Monster, 1931's Frankenstein. A very, very beloved Universal Monster. This is the movie that kind of put Boris on the map. Um, his uh, iconic role as Frankenstein. We did already talk about The Mummy like two, three nights ago. I really did enjoy his performance here. I definitely like this one way better than The Mummy. The Mummy just, I don't it just wasn't for me. Mind you, in The Mummy, he does talk, well, he does have dialogue there. Over here, he's just like grunting. Just like all the other Universal Monster movies that we have talked about, we waste no time in getting to the point. We're not trying to build up shit. No, we got stuff to do and see and talk about because we're not, we're not about that two hour long movie here, you guys, no. Not even five minutes into the movie, you guys. We are already out there trying to steal a damn corpse from the graveyard. And then we're trying to find brains, you guys. And we steal brains. We do. And Boris is once again coming through with that menacing stare. Well, I guess technically he had the menacing stare here first since this movie came out before The Mummy. But I saw him like backwards. So, you know, like now that one is first. But he has a really great menacing creepy looking scary stare. Now in case you did miss that mummy review, I did mention how Boris is one of the OG iconic horror actors. In tonight's movie, just like last night's movie, there's really not a love story happening here directly with the creature. I guess I should have mentioned that in my creature from the uh, Black Lagoon, I was gonna say Lost Lagoon from the Black Lagoon review. Technically, the love story, whatever, was within, like, the people and not necessarily with the creature. Uh, but, either who we're seeing it now. So, same thing here. There's not, like, a direct love story with Frankenstein's monster. It is with Frankenstein, the creator, and his beloved Elizabeth. You know, they're going to get married, so that's kind of where that love story is going on. I'm sure you are aware who he is, but in case you're not, he is a corpse that was put together by Victor Frankenstein and has a brain from a killer. He thought it was a brain from somebody else, but it turned out it was a killer's brain and he pretty much used electricity to bring him alive. We don't have an Igor here. I don't know where I Igor ended up, his little minion. Here, his name is Fritz. Fritz does, you know, kind of like torture him with it a little bit. So needless to say when um, Frankenstein had it up to here with his nonsense in the fire and his like whipping um when he killed him i was that's what you get that is what you, you want to abuse him that's why you did and i have never seen this movie and like the frankenstein movies that i have seen they're not, they weren't nothing like this i know i shouldn't laugh either but when he does find that little girl they had like this whole like little moment i totally totally was seeing that in a <laughs> I thought something totally different was gonna be happening there, you guys. Like, I never thought that he was gonna, like, pick up the little girl and, like, throw her into the lake. I mean, it was, a, like, a cute moment that was supposed to be. Like, I get where he was going. Cause again, he's dead. He's a corpse, right? He doesn't really know. And, you know, he would see the flower flow. And he's like, oh, let me pick your ass up and let me throw you into this water because you're gonna float. Technically speaking, you know, if she had the proper training you know or like parents would have taught her to flow she would have survived because everybody can float you know, just don't panic and just float he sees that he she goes down and he's just like like oh shit i i i, I fucked up kind of deal and like he like takes off <laughs> and i'm just like that had me dying you guys again i know it's not like a funny moment but it was like a funny moment for me one of the things was that when he did that technically there was nobody there to witness him throwing this kid like i never saw nobody there like around and i didn't see nobody actually see him take off running how did the people knew know it was him that's my question because they sure did um form a mob one of like the like creepier Things to it is when the father's like going through the town with his dead daughter. How the hell y'all know it's Frankenstein? Y'all just saw this body coming through. He hasn't talked to nobody, and yet y'all already accusing this poor monster. I and mean, yes, it was him, but like y'all are accusing this man. Well, this monster deal ain't got no damn proof. 
Like, where's the jury? Where's the judge? Again, yes, I know that he technically did it. Another thing that I really liked about Boris's performance was like his whole like hand movements to make Frankenstein who he is. I mean, I was really, really here for him. Again, his performance was really, really great. I totally understand this being a, such an iconic role for him and it being taken so beloved and why people love it. The story is, I mean, it's a good story, you guys. It really, really is. All right, guys, before I do give you my score on this movie, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post something new. Frankenstein was a really good movie. I did truly enjoy it. I cannot wait uh, to watch uh, The Bride of Frankenstein just to kind of see a little bit more uh, from this character. Certain things that happen there at the end of this movie, how that transcends into that one. So with all that said, I'm gonna still give Frankenstein a large popcorn. If you've seen this movie, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? What is your favorite version of Frankenstein? You can incorporate any damn Frankenstein movie that you want to put on here. Alright guys, that is it for me tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.